Hello viewers, we know that the OLS estimators are best linear unbiased estimator under the standard assumptions of classical linear regression model. So in this video, we prove that the OLS estimators are best linear unbiased estimator or we prove the blue properties of OLS estimator considering multiple linear model or considering k variable linear model. At the same time, we state and prove the Gauss Markov theorem. It is usually asked in an examination that uh, prove that OLS estimator are best linear unbiased estimator or for a k variable linear model y equal to x beta plus u so that the OLS estimator beta cap is best linear unbiased estimator or blue or state and prove the Gauss Markov theorem of OLS estimators. First of all, we state the Gauss Markov theorem. The Gauss Markov theorem states that if a linear model satisfies the classical assumptions, then the ordinary least square or OLS estimators are linear unbiased estimator and that have minimum variance. In other words, OLS estimators are blue, B for best, L for linear, U for unbiased and E for estimator. Here we consider a k variable linear model as y equal to x beta plus u where y is the n by 1 vector of observations on y or n by 1 column vector of the values of dependent variable y. x is the n by k matrix of the observations on x or n by k matrix of the values of the explanatory variable x. Beta is the k by 1 column vector of the parameters beta and u is the n by 1 column vector of the uh, we state and explain the assumptions on the matrix of disturbances u. Assumption 1 expected value of u matrix is a null matrix that is for all i u i's are variables with zero expectation we know that u is a column vector of u1 u2 up to u n so expected value of u is the expected value of u1 u2 up to expected value of u n so since expected value of u i is zero so, expected value of u is, is a null matrix. Assumption 2, expected value of u, u dash is a sigma square times of identity matrix. That is, the variance of u matrix is sigma square times of an identity matrix. That means, u i's have constant variance sigma square and zero covariance between u i u j. Expectation of the multiplication of the matrix u u dash gives this matrix. The diagonal elements are expected value of u i's that is the variance of u i. So, the diagonal elements are the sigma square, but the off diagonal elements are the covariance between u i u j so they are 0 thus we get sigma square multiplied by this identity matrix so expected value of u u dash is equal to sigma square times of identity matrix in this assumption we take the variance of u i is sigma square that means u i's are homocedastic or there is no heteroscedasticity. On the other hand, the covariance between u i u j is 0 that is u i's are uncorrelated. 
that means there is no serial correlation among UIs. On the other hand, there is no autocorrelation. Assumption 3. The matrix X states a set of fixed number or matrix X is non-stochastic. That is, the X i are fixed in repeated sampling. That means, keeping the value of explanatory variable X fixed, we draw samples and observe the values of dependent variable Y. Assumption 4. The n by k matrix X has full column rank that is k or all the columns in X must be linearly independent. That means, there is no exact linear relationship among X i's or there is no multicollinearity. This assumption is a necessary condition for X days X to be non-singular to get the value of X days X inverse and at the same time k must be less than n or the number of parameter must be less than the number of observations. Assumption 5, e wise follows the normal distribution with 0 mean and constant variance sigma square. This assumption is necessary for hypothesis testing. Now, in this k variable linear model, the ordinary least square estimator of beta is equal to beta k equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y. Since y is present in the estimator of beta k, so beta k is linear function of observed variable, observed variable matrix y. Hence, the OLS estimator beta k is linear estimator of beta. We know y is equal to x beta plus u. So, in place of y, we write x beta plus u and after multiplication we get this and this is equal to beta plus x transpose x inverse into x transpose u. Now, expected value of beta cap is equal to this. So, since the expected value of u is 0, so expected value of beta cap is equal to beta. Hence, the OLS estimator beta cap is unbiased estimator of beta. Now, the formula for variance of beta cap is this. Since expected value of beta, expected value of beta cap is beta, so we put beta here. But uh, beta minus beta cap is equal to x transpose x inverse into x this u. So, in place of beta cap minus expected value of beta cap, we write x transpose x inverse into x this u. The transpose of this term is this. So, we get x transpose x into inverse into x this expected value of u u this into x into x transpose x inverse. Again, the expected value of u u this is nothing but sigma square times of identity matrix. So, we get sigma square into x transpose x inverse into x transpose x into x transpose x inverse and finally, we get sigma square into x transpose x inverse. So, variance of beta cap is equal to sigma square times of x transpose x inverse. Here, we have to prove that the variance of beta cap is minimum. So, in order to prove it, we take beta star as any arbitrary linear estimator of beta such that beta star is equal to x transpose x inverse into x this plus c into y, where c is a matrix of constant. Now, y is equal to x beta plus u. After simplification, we get beta star is equal to this. So, expected value, expected value of beta star is equal to beta plus c x beta. Here, be expected beta star will be beta if and only if c x equal to 0 and beta star minus beta will be equal to x transpose x 
inverse into x dash u plus c u. So, the formula for variance of beta star is this. So, the putting the values of beta minus sorry beta star minus beta we write this and after simplification we get this and this way we are simplifying these relations and finally we get the variance of beta star as sigma square times of x transpose x inverse plus sigma square c into c dash. But uh, variance of beta cap is equal to sigma square times of x transpose x inverse. So, in place of this we write variance of beta cap. Therefore, variance of beta star is equal to variance of beta cap plus sigma square c into c dash. That means, variance of beta star is greater than variance of beta cap. Therefore, variance of beta cap is less than the variance of beta star. This proves that the OLS estimator beta cap have minimum variance. Hence, OLS estimator beta cap is best estimator. Here we have proved that the o, that an OLS estimator is best because it has minimum variance is a linear because it is a linear function of observed variable unbiased because the expected value of OLS estimator is equal to the actual value of the parameters. So, OLS estimator is best linear unbiased estimator or blue. Thank you.